started, and I will say good morning and welcome, and thank you to everybody that has joined us this morning to kick off their free sports experience this week. So excited to have everyone in the campus. So looking forward to uh, just a week full of learning and adventure for everyone right here. We're going to start by talking about how you can provide your, provide your whole week by using lead nurturing strategically uh, to increase ROI for your business and efficiency for your team. And the way that we do that is through marketing safety automation. My name is Susan Stickle, I'm an enterprise business program manager of Part I, and with me is Ty Lauhead, who is director of marketing of real estate in out of New York. So first things first, let's go ahead and do just a couple of quick introductions. As I said, my name is Susan, and I am based out of Atlanta, Georgia. And with me is, again, Ty, who is the owner of real estate, the director of marketing based out of New York City. Uh, and in his spare time, he is also an Italian motorcycle enthusiast, and he's far more interesting than I am, and I'm sure he's going to talk to you after this uh, about that. Moving on, Ty is the main event here today, so I just want to talk a little bit about what our agenda looks like, and I'll be talking to my over to Ty. First, we want to start with lead nurturing with Pardot. Basically, what we're going to talk about is what is Pardot using marketing automation, and how can lead nurturing actually grow your business? Then I will pass the over to Ty, and he's going to talk about his success for his developers and how they would then be to their needs to grow their business and really more tightly align the marketing and skills. Then at the end, we are going to have a few minutes for Q&A for you to be able to ask some questions specifically to Ty or myself about the voice on the deep strategy as well. All right. So first and foremost, what is Cardot? Just to level set a little bit. Cardot is essentially a Salesforce marketing automation platform. So it is a full suite of tools to help marketers create meaningful connections, generate more pipelines, and empower sales and more skills. Then the next slide, we're going to talk about what lead nurturing is as well. What if you've never formalized a lead nurturing program or you've still held a lead nurturing strategy for years? We all know that marketing job has never done. Developing an effective lead nurturing strategy is identifying your buyer's behavior and journey, and then providing them with the right information to the right people and at the right time. Now, that could be about the task, but with the solution like Cardot, you can easily automate and guide buyers to trigger based outreach and action. This saves you time and creates more personalized and valuable engagement for both your prospects and your internal Automated lead nurturing is the process of basically sending a series of automated emails that can trigger based on a person's behavior or a preset time interval. This means that you can provide the right information to the right prospects all without the future. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and pass these over to my employee here with how algorithms are done with the next Thank you, Susan. And thank you, Susan. Thank you, Susan. And good morning, everybody. I am really excited to be at Dreamforce. My name is Ty Lauhead. I am the marketing director for Elegrin Real Estate. Pardot Marketing Automation, powered by Salesforce, has allowed us to scale our marketing and our company to re-engage cold and dormant leads and build accountability and transparency between marketing and sales. This on the screen behind me is an example of one of the about 10 or 15 uh, complex multi-path drip campaigns we're currently running in Engagement Studio for Pardot. I try to automate as much as I can in my life, at home, and in business, and Pardot has sort of become this if this then that tool set for marketing. I've been working in marketing technology for a little over eight years. I live and breathe marketing strategy when I'm not trying to run off somewhere in the world on a motorcycle. This is me at the track last year. I write for a blog called NY Ducati and I'm actually taking this opportunity to ride up the coast for four or five days after Dreamforce 
if anyone's interested in joining me, come talk to me after uh, the talk. I'm also the marketing director for a company called Elegrin, a technology-facing real estate brokerage specializing in the luxury side of residential sales in Manhattan. Elegrin has expanded rapidly over the past eight years, and we now have about 60 salespeople who last year signed a little over $400 million in sales. This means our relatively small team was responsible for representing a little over 1.5% of the Manhattan real estate market, making our agents about seven to eight times more profitable than the average New York City uh, salesperson. And last year we generated about 35% growth and our pipeline looks even better for this year. We consider this a direct result, not only of uh, the quality of our team, but the fact that we have poured most of our revenue into and back into marketing and technology development, including investing and totally customizing Salesforce and Pardot for our entire team. I think we are one of the first companies in our vertical to do so, uh, at least so effectively. And building out complex, multi-path lead nurture campaigns in Pardot has really been the next step uh, in the evolution of aligning our sales and marketing teams. So our keys to success, to really boil it down, have been using Pardot to segment our leads and clients in Salesforce, training to get everyone to see the value of how the product is actually working for them, and then crafting hyper-targeted drip campaigns built around specific buying criteria as well as friction points throughout the entire purchasing process. All of our agents use Salesforce, but historically they used it extremely inconsistently. While scalability and automation are probably two of the biggest buzzwords that you hear around the management team, real estate typically has not been a scalable business model. Overhead has always limited expansion as managing a group of independent contractors becomes exponentially more difficult with a larger team. The root of this problem lies in the fact that everyone interacts with data differently and previously we had no standardized operating procedure for client classification or workflows in Salesforce. Elegrin hired me about two years ago to run our marketing team with a focus on lead generation. And while I have no problem spending the company's money, I quickly identified our largest opportunity for growth in leveraging our existing database and thinking about our entire business in terms of a lead ecosystem with a constant churn and no leaks in our funnel. And that meant really diving into the entire lifetime of a client. Uh, from the moment a prospect is first exposed to the Elegrin brand, to a long-term client transacting their third deal um, with a trusted real estate advisor, and then really thinking about that entire life cycle in terms of clearly defined stages. The four segments that we came up with are as follows. Awareness, follow-up, nurture, and re-engagement. And while this may sound intuitive or simple, um, <clears throat> our salespeople were extremely resistant to letting go of any part of what they saw as their part of the business. 
So in the interest of transparency and communication, which we found to be vital to successful user adoption, we conducted in-depth focus groups and multiple training sessions with our sales teams, educating them on how and why we're using marketing automation and Salesforce. In addition, we provide a comprehensive drip campaign directory on the back end of what we like to call the Elegrin info base, sort of a internal learning management system, where we outline each segment of that ecosystem, which is really kind of a what, why, and how of every single engagement studio marketing automation campaign that we're running. Every campaign is publicly available to the entire team, and the directory outlines the rules specifically that would enter a prospect into a drip, details about that particular campaign, and the business goal that we're trying to accomplish with that segmented clientele. Engagement Studio uses three different methods to progress potential clients through an intuitive decision tree. And you can see I've outlined the three methods are actions, triggers, and rules. To the right in the center of your screen is our first Engagement Studio campaign that we launched back in April, I believe, that we've since funneled roughly 1,200 or so people uh, through so far through the awareness stage. Basically, before last year, we weren't leveraging a huge portion of dormant leads that we now consider prospects that previously were so low value, we didn't even enter them into Salesforce as nobody really knew what to do with them. Hundreds of people had signed up to view the content on our website, but hadn't yet expressed buying intent in a particular pro uh, property. Our solution was to hook up Pardot form handlers to our website to create autoresponders to facilitate engagement immediately, and then to hand these new prospects over to a newly created inside sales team whose job it was to gather information about the prospect and who in turn then handed the warmer leads directly off to agents for appointments and showings. If the inside sales team lost touch or couldn't quite make contact with the colder leads, prospects were then funneled into a five-part branded drip campaign demonstrating who Elegrin is as a company and pitching the competitive advantage of working with us. The goal of this campaign is to create rapport and engagement and build trust and interaction with a potential client and the brand. We began by building a dynamic list and reintroducing the prospect to our real estate search, which we feel is really one of the main selling points about our website. You can see it's a pretty cool dynamic email with a little bit about our product offering. And then the message itself is personalized, either from the company or the inside sales agent. We then set up triggers to listen if the email had been opened or clicked, and this resulted in adding to their Pardot score. And then after a week, we sent another email out demonstrating what our value is specifically to the consumer. Our marketing team had put together these really uh, a number of fantastic guides about the buying, selling, and renting process that we only ever previously handed out as a piece of physical collateral. We now host these guides on our website, and this is really the beginnings of how we started to think about an inbound marketing strategy. Each hyperlink in the email is tracked. I believe the guides are actually custom scoring, uh, custom redirects, and prospects who click on these links are tagged and actually segmented into uh, additional lists for future follow-up. Again, 
Moving on, we set triggers to listen to the opens and clicks, and when you click on this little letter icon, you have robust email reporting stats at your fingertips. You can see the prospects who funneled through this trip, how many people opened the email, the click-through rate, etc. And the third email we sent um, in this campaign highlights a product offering. This Elegrin really specializes in new construction. We've done a number of deals in these buildings, and we're highlighting and showcasing our niche expertise and experience. The fourth email we sent uh, about four or five days later is really about us as a company and what we believe. Elegrin's mission statement outlines our core values, our philosophy, and really, you know, some bullet points about how working with our company will be fundamentally different than working with any other real estate firm. Finally, the last step was a data-driven approach to really drive the message home about our market expertise. We had recently compiled a market report of price per square growth increases in Manhattan over the past 10 years, broken down by neighborhood. We're actually building this industry knowledge into a much more robust content piece, and it really showcases our expertise in technology from a data analysis perspective and how we can leverage that to hopefully help you as a consumer. And the final step before the end of this campaign was to reassign the prospect based on their Pardot score. High scoring clients were recycled back to the inside sales team for future follow-up, whereas the rest of the prospects were siloed um, and junked for the time being. Hopefully, by the end of this campaign, we would have demonstrated enough of our capabilities and built enough trust so that a consumer would have responded to an email or kept the brand in front of them enough so that the prospect would have come back to our website to search for properties and hopefully convert from there. But if not, add to their Pardot score so we can segment our database between engaged consumers. Within a week of launching this campaign a few months ago, in the first week, we immediately had five apartment showings, one which ultimately resulted in about a $5,700 uh, commission on a rental, which I've uh, screenshotted and highlighted up on the screen here, and another which resulted in about a $30,000 commission on roughly a million dollar sale. This was not bad for a week's work, and ever since, we have been warming up cold and dormant leads that we never would have touched otherwise. And the best thing of all is this has proved to be a totally automated solution. So I'd like to thank everybody for uh, listening to me today. Again, this was only one of the business goals and one of the segments of um, our segmented clientele that we've built drip campaigns around. We've had a lot of success using Engagement Studio drip campaigns to stimulate uh, user adoption, uh, solicit reviews, and follow up um, with really hyper-targeted uh, campaigns built around buying criteria. I love to talk about uh, strategy and I'd be happy to discuss any of this after the talk. Thank you guys very much. Have a nice day.